Spain is definitely part of Europe. I want to say that again. I want to be so clear. Spain is definitely part of Europe. Why would there be confusion about that? As you can tell, I'm an American and I'm doing my best to explain to the entire world, whether it's Europeans, which would think why in the world would Americans not know that? As I'm also speaking to Americans who haven't really given it much thought, let's look at some of the confusion on this. Let's start off right off the bat. If you're like me and you took your DNA test through MyHeritage, let's take a look at this. Let's, let's look at how it shows up. So I'm showing you the app on my phone for MyHeritage. Just give it a moment to focus. There we go, MyHeritage DNA. Look at that, North and West European. North and West European, 37.4%. And then separately, it shows 31.8% Iberian. It separates them. Okay, so right off the bat, that kind of feeds into the slightly confused perspectives that Americans have. Because I see this, I'm like, oh yeah, North and West European. Okay, so yeah, I'm about a third European. Okay, and then my grandmother was Mexican. My grandfather was Sephardic Jewish. That makes sense that I'm 31.8% Iberian, which is Spanish and Portuguese kind of descent there. That makes sense. But see, already you saw that it separates them. It acts, it treats Iberian as if it's separate from Europe, is what it does. So already that kind of feeds into that way that, that Americans see things. But why else do Americans not necessarily know or assume or care whether or not Spain is part of Europe? I'd say the other thing that really throws Americans off is that we border Mexico, which obviously Mexico is a lot different than Spain. Totally understand that, okay? But if you're an American who's mainly of European descent and you see people come in from Mexico, which again, my grandmother was, they look different than us. And as American mindset, we all know that we're basically European mutts is how we typically see ourselves, unless someone is specifically not someone else and we can see that. We assume we're like adopted children and we don't really know where we came from but we know that vaguely we mostly came from Europe. I mean, I'm about a third European as far as Northwest European. I think especially in the South where I am, a lot of people are, are much more than that. Like my dad was 99% uh, North uh, and, and West European. But what happens is we look at our neighbors and we think that is a different country. That is a different ethnicity, though it's not, <laughs> and it's not its own race, but people from a different country and we see them. Now, when Canadians come down from the north, we can't really tell them apart unless they say that they're Canadian or they say A or something like that, right? So it's very obvious. Our neighbors to the north, they look like us. They basically talk like us, act like us. Neighbors from down south, it's a different culture. It's a different nationality and it's much more obvious. Okay, so those are our only two neighbors we've got over here. So naturally, when we're looking at a foreign country, Mexico, there's part of our brain, even though we know it's completely different than Spain, we think Spain. There's a subliminal part of our minds that thinks Spain, Mexico, foreign, they're foreign. Spain isn't part of Europe, but it is. But we treat it subconsciously like it's not. That's the way our brains have kind of worked. I'm not excusing that. And if you're European or Spanish, I go ahead and I guess I'll apologize on behalf of the fact that Americans think that way, but it is, it's how we think. We're the adopted children. We don't know where we came from. And here's what we do. I'm not saying it's wrong or right. I'm saying this is how it is. I'm just being honest with you. What we do is we compartmental, help me with the verb, compartmentalize. We put things in compartments. <laughs> I wish I could say that word. <laughs> So we compartmentalize, that was close, each nation as if it were its own, it's an ethnicity, is what we do. That's how we do. Because we're so fascinated and confused about where we came from in Europe and, and beyond. So it's easy to say, okay, yeah, there's Mexicans. Okay, they're Spanish. They're, they're similar to each other. Okay, Canadians, they're basically Americans. They're like an extension of us, the same way New Zealand is an extension of Australia. And then you've got several different Asian nations. Plenty of them, we can tell them a different. That's what we do. We hyper-focus on nationalities and continents to the way that we treat them like they're their own race or ethnicity, even though they're not. Now, 
What makes it even more confusing though is when you go onto MyHeritage as an American and you look at your results. So when I go to view full estimate on here and what's gonna happen is it's gonna give me the option to look at the, the Europe parts of it, separate from Iberia, separate from Spanish. Okay, all right, so let's, let's, can I do this on, hopefully it'll focus. All right, so I'm gonna show you where it has the European, there it is, Europe, 77.6. I'm gonna click on all supported ethnicities. See, it says ethnicities. Okay, so it's feeding into the American mindset that, okay, so we're talking about separate ethnicities here. As I click on Europe, then it says North and West European, 37.4, English, zero. Finnish, zero. Irish, Scottish, Welsh, zero. Scandinavian, zero. Greek, zero. Italian, zero. Sardinian, zero. And then the 31.8% Iberian, which is Spanish, Portuguese. See, even the way this app is set up, even the way the results come back in from my heritage, it feeds into the confusion that Americans have on ethnicity. They're even using the word ethnicity instead of saying national origin of your DNA. They're feeding into a preconceived idea that basically every modern nation is an ethnicity, even though it's not. And even the way that they segregate, uh, the way they segregate uh, Spain on here, Iberia, they, they segregate it with Greek and Italian, which is another thing if you ask most people, they would think of Italians as white in the same way that most people would look at Jewish people as white, most people, but they still, they segregate it. And it feeds into a way that we look at people with olive skin and darker features as its own separate thing. Uh, so that it's feeding into that mentality. So I'm not here to justify how things work. I'm not here to justify the American perspective. I'm not here to justify how my heritage DNA test results come in a way that is congruent with that American mindset. I'm not here to defend that. I'm just here to explain it in a way that will make sense for people who can't make sense of it. Hi, I'm Nick Shell, and if you either liked this video or hated it, if you at least watched it and were intrigued by it, imagine this. I make lots of videos like this. So if you like this, you might want to subscribe and, and see what else I've got because this is the kind of stuff we talk about. Again, you may violently hate everything I said, but you've watched an eight-minute video about it, so there's something interesting about me. You wouldn't want this to be the last time you ever see me, right? You'd probably come back again tomorrow if I did another video, right? It's up to you. Do you never want to see me again, or do you want to see me again tomorrow? It's up to you.